Hi everybody, this is Dave Vellante. This is theCUBE. We're here at HP Discover on the floor with Nick Vandersweet, who's the Vice President of Products and Strategy at Cloud Cruiser, a relatively new company. Nick, welcome to theCUBE. Great to be here. Yeah, Great so we, uh, we first started talking, I think it was like 2010, 2011 at, uh, at VMworld. You left HP to go to Cloud Cruiser. Tell us about Cloud Cruiser. Well, Cloud Cruiser is all about financial management, primarily focused at the cloud. And, and what we do is we keep track of all the costs that go into building out a cloud environment. And then we also uh, build tenants for it. So we do the end uh, revenue collection. So uh, with, with a cloud, if you're a service provider, if you're not collecting you know, usage-based uh, revenue, you're setting up a VM and selling it at a, a dollar a day or a dollar an hour, that's us. We're doing all of the financial collections, the, the calculations of the rates, and then we also calculate the costs of all the putting the service together, the facilities, the labor, and then we show uh, the, the cloud provider the margin that they're getting on a per tenant basis as well. They know their profitability on a per tenant basis. That's what, we're all about intelligent financial management for cloud. Okay, so you can do this for a public cloud, for a private cloud, for an on-premise cloud, yep. uh, cloud it's, service providers. Yeah, so we, with a private cloud, it's a little bit different, right? Uh, what I've found in my history of working with cloud is if you install a private cloud and you give the keys to end users and developers to deploy services at will, they will, but they'll never turn anything off. You're actually, your cost will at least double compared to traditional IT if you don't have a financial regulatory mechanism to say, oh, it's costing you a dollar a day, five dollars a day. Uh, they'll turn things off because they don't want to because they want to stop paying and it's going to hit their budget, right? So it's a kind of an automatic uh, way of regulating uh, usage and driving up utilization. Yeah, it's kind of the old adage, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Now, last time I looked at it, Nick, uh, I would say maybe 15% of the on-premise customers that I talked to were actually doing charge benefits. Uh, and that was probably probably around the time we, we first met when you were in the queue. Has that changed? Yeah, yeah, definitely. We're seeing a, a strong upswing with large customers putting in full chargeback. And that's because at first, when those first cloud deployments went into play, they were more uh, automation tools for IT. The IT guys were, instead of setting up all this infrastructure, um, they would you know, have an automation tool, a cloud deployment tool like HP Cloud System to deploy uh, infrastructure for service. The end users didn't get the self-service portal yet, it's still IT people. So the regulation was the IT people were taking care of it. Now, what's happening now is those cloud, those self-service portals, the IT people are handing it to developers, they're handing it to the end users. And that's where you, you have to have chargeback for your possible exponential. So, can you talk about some of the customers that you have, whether it's you know, on-premise or in the cloud? Sure, um, we've got customers, uh, service providers like SHI and Exponential E and CMOX. CMOX is a Netherlands-based service provider uh, providing cloud services to, uh, to customers in the Netherlands. Uh, we, are, we are their full uh, billing engine for them to do usage-based pricing, selling their services. Uh, we also, uh, like I described for, for CMOX, calculate the cost, calculate the revenue, and they, they can manage their business with specific target margins on a per customer basis. Yeah, so uh, SHI, we know SHI's been in the cube, and, uh, yep. and so what's the, what, what do they typically do? If, if, if they don't use your product, they just build their own, is that common? What, you know what's the most common competitor? Excel. People, especially service providers, they've, they've They've been in this world of outsourcing or dedicated hosting. They put a contract in place with an end customer and it's $5,000 a month, it's $10,000 a month. And they, they, they're moving into this usage-based pricing and they're doing their best that they can. One service provider that we worked with, we found, we, we come to them and they were taking 30 days from the end of the month before they could get an invoice into customers' hands. So that meant, uh, you know, 30 days of you know, lost, you know, delayed revenue. They installed Cloud Cruiser. We give them the invoice one second after midnight on the end of the month, and it's in the hands of the customer immediately. They get their money 30 days early. Cash flow, baby. 
Yes, both that. Now, and what also happened with them, and I've got multiple that happened this way, is they put the invoice in front of the customer, the customer disputes it, and they say, no, I don't think I used that capacity on that day, and the answer, would you take a 20% discount in lieu of me trying to you know, prove to you that you did that? And that's, that's the normal way of resolving disputes, give you a 20% discount. And so, again, with Cloud Cruiser, instant invoicing, um, and if there's any dispute, there's an online multi-tenant portal with our product. The customers log in, they can see their invoice, double click on the numbers and expands everything out. They can see what capacity they used on each day down to the minute. So there's no disputes because it's like it's tracked all the way back to minute by minute. Awesome. All right, well, you're hitting the market at the right time, Nick. I mean, cloud is exploding. You got a very strong value proposition competing against Excel. It's going to take 30 days to <laughs> get the billing if you're lucky. And uh, so, congratulations on uh, getting the company going. Sounds like it's going really well. And, doing, uh, doing very well, very, very well. And we're. Um, just uh, uh, been honored as being declared a uh, cloud system uh, ready partner for HP, so we just integrate right into the HP uh, cloud system environment. We just push the button, they install in less than a day, and we're up and running this. The HP system, hang on for the ride. Yeah. All right, Nick, hey, great to see you again. Thanks thank you very much for coming on theCUBE, and uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.